Hi, Justin Lee. Good morning, everyone. I first met Mariah Reading at Acadia National Park back in October when she was starting her art residency there. Her claim to fame involves taking pieces of trash she finds at national parks and painting them into the landscape. And in the last few months, Mariah has finished up her residency program, shot a commercial with Subaru, and even set up an art show in Hudson Valley. And she's not stopping anytime soon. Yeah, oh my gosh, this has been a whirlwind. For Mariah Reading, life as an artist is just beginning. I never thought that I could kind of make a, a living out of this, and the fact that those opportunities are starting to stack up a little is, is just, it's thrilling. Thrilling to see her mission to turn trash into a canvas take on an even bigger meaning. Art has the power to capture these moments um, and these landscapes that will most likely not look similar at all in the next decade. Landscapes Mariah wants to protect by raising awareness about waste, a project that really took hold on a cross-country trip. She said, well, let's bring some plastic bags along with us and uh, we'll collect trash along the way. And I'm like, why? And after what first seemed like an odd request. I mean, she's making beautiful objects, but she's doing it you know, with a with a purpose and, and, and for a cause. A purpose that art world professionals are also paying attention to. To see vis visually, you know, 15 shoes lined up that people forgot and didn't pick up behind them in the landscape is a really great way to mark you know, kind of like what we're doing to the world around us. And for the visitors... And so far, everybody has loved it. I, people really appreciate her concept. A concept Mariah hopes to expand upon as her journeys continue. And we don't really have time or the resources to afford to, to, to waste them, right? Like, we have to use our gifts and our passions and our talents to, to leave this earth better than we found it. Now, Mariah is heading on a journey to Antarctica to continue her project. She's actually leaving today. You can follow her on social media to see some of her latest pieces and adventures. And you can also visit our website or mobile app to learn a little bit more about the work she does. In Bangor, Chloe Thibault, News Central Maine.